Hi, I'm Andrea Eldridge from Nerds on Call at callnerds.com, and today we're going to talk about how to repair a library file on an iPod that's, for some reason or another, become corrupted. A lot of times if you're in process of syncing and you disconnect the sync, um, it'll break the library file to where you know certain songs won't play or it's just not functioning as it should. So pretty easy thing to do. You're going to actually restore your iPod in order to do this process. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and connect your device to your iTunes library. So as if you were going to go ahead and start a sync process. So in this case, um, it's going to go ahead and start that process automatically here to find the device on our iTunes. Whether or not that process actually works for you, depending on how broken your iPod is at the moment, um, what you're going to want to do from whatever screen it's, it's locked on, if it's actively trying to sync, don't do this process, but go ahead and wait until it restores back to whatever screen doesn't say do not disconnect. It's when it's connected to iTunes, you want to go ahead and select your primary button here in the middle, your select button and menu at the same time. Press and hold those down until the screen turns black. Once the screen turns black, in order to actually do a restore, you're going to press and hold the play button and the center button as well. You're going to press and hold that for quite some time until it pops up an option to restore. Now Restore is going to go ahead and wipe out the library file and then when you resync, all of your files are going to come back and they won't be corrupted anymore.